Good afternoon, Graphic Comms. Um, you've made it this far. You're logged in, and obviously, before even walking into the room, you knew I wasn't here. So uh, I want to apologize for missing two days in a row. It's very unlike me. But um, needless to say, I think this might uh, help ease some of your concerns with uh, a little activity that I want to have you guys work on. And I just want to kind of explain some things to you guys because it might be a little bit better to see it in video form. Um, than just reading the instructions, which was I, what I was originally going to leave uh, the guest teacher, the substitute, to kind of hand out to you. So um, first things first, uh, you worked on or you finished up your uh, pre-test business cards yesterday during class period, and I know you submitted those. Uh, the majority of you guys got those in. Thank you very much for those, and I will be going through them to kind of just evaluate where your skills are. Um, again, my overall feeling is that your skills are probably pretty high, but your confidence is pretty low because this is a brand new program. Illustrator's main function is that it allows you to draw, and you can draw in many different ways inside the program. And the activity that I have for you guys that we're going to be working with to kind of familiarize ourselves a little bit with Illustrator is a very, very simple activity. Um, however, uh, there are some things that you want to be aware of, and um, hopefully some of you guys were able to finish the business card thing a little bit earlier yesterday so that you had a chance to kind of page through the book and get a handle for how the book really sets up. So let me kind of discuss with you guys where you're at, where you can find materials, and where you can kind of locate some stuff that uh, will help you throughout the hour. First things first, um, on Edmodo, I kind of supplied a, a file for you that is really just what you're going to be making. However, it's all of my shapes and my forms on there first to just show you what it should look like. Also on Edmodo, I'm going to be linking a YouTube video that goes along with some guided instructions that I would like you guys to follow in creating your first little illustration in uh, Adobe Illustrator. I wanted it to be something very simple, something um, that you guys were familiar with, and something that we could also kind of have a little bit of fun with. And being that I'm a huge Batman nerd, um, I decided that there was a really good connection with using Illustrator to design the Batman logo. Now, as you guys page through the PDF file, the instructions that will walk you step by step through this, you'll notice that um, really all you're doing is creating this this. Batman logo from from shapes from very basic geometric shapes. So that means you're going to be using the shape tool. Uh, more importantly, the rectangle and the ellipse or oval tool. Um, once you guys kind of get a handle for how to place those things, and you read along in the instructions on how they will actually snap together, and you can move things around, you'll kind of see that it is pretty simple. Um, just by kind of clicking and dragging or typing in some numbers that you can find from the actual instructions, um, it's really simple. The logo that is how, on how it's made. Now. Um, the Batman logo itself that you guys are creating really only is um, a, a rectangle with some oval shapes cut out for the wings and then some square shapes in and around the head that you might have to alter a little bit. But if you follow through the instructions and the uh, YouTube video, you'll see that it's very, very simple to do. Now the other tool that you guys are going to be using is a tool that I stand by and I love the most. It's called the Shape Builder Tool. Um, there's actually two little functions for this, two ways you can use it, but the Shape Builder tool is awesome because what it'll do is it'll allow you as the creator or the illustrator um, the freedom to kind of combine shapes so that they make their own unique shape. But you can also subtract shapes so that the unique shape that you end up coming up with is something that, you know, um, has been subtracted from. So the Shape Builder tool is almost like having your own pair of scissors and it will allow you to add or subtract um, um, different paths or different parts of one uh, shape to another shape. Um, it's outlined in the instructions, but if you feel like you need to watch the video first to get a handle for what it is you're going to be creating, by all means go ahead and do that. Now, I know some of you guys have um, a little bit extra time, fourth hour I'm talking to you, to work on this inside class. So I don't necessarily have expectations that you'll finish the whole thing. But what I do want to do when I, once I return on, to class Thursday is make sure that you guys have at least gotten the shapes mapped out on your document and that you've also gotten down the oval shapes and the square shapes so that you can see roughly where the Batman logo would be. If you're having trouble using the Shape Builder tool because you're not really sure which options you should be clicking or when you click something, something totally leaves, 
that's understandable. But I need to see you guys have the, the um, rectangular shapes and the oval shapes there first so that we can work alongside with that. Now, there are some other options in there that, um, you know, you guys can play around with, like color selection and things like that, that I don't necessarily have to have you guys stick to. Um, I don't really care if you want to have a, a different Batman colored logo or not. Yeah, but hi. Oh, someone wants to say hi. You want to say hi? Hi. There you go. So, it really doesn't matter what what types of options yeah, you want color-wise. You get more clothes that stick on my dad's head. Okay, no, nope, nope, that's not going to happen. So, why don't you go play with the, your, your puzzle? So, um, I, I want you guys to work through the video, and I want you guys to kind of follow the PDF instructions so that you can come up with the basic shape of the Dark Knight Batman symbol. Now, when I return in the class Thursday, we'll go over some of those things, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. But this is kind of along the lines of where we were at during the first week of Photoshop, too. I want you guys to be set up so that this weekend you can kind of go off on Saturday and Sunday with an illustrator yeah, win have, um, be under your belt. Much more stuck on my dad's head. Yeah. So, um, I wish you guys luck. Make sure you guys check out the links both on Edmodo and through YouTube and page through those things as you guys work throughout the hour. I know you're probably going to have more questions than you're going to have answers, but it really is simple once you get the hang of it, okay? I wish you guys luck and make sure you double check to make sure that you've downloaded and you've clicked on all the files that I've supplied for you yeah. at the Edmodo link, at the Edmodo link, okay? So, good luck. I yeah, will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, to stick on my dad's head. Nope, we're gone.